All right, now let's move on to 600 mm range. We can achieve this range or closer to 600. These lenses are listed here. All the lenses of 400 range is there. And we have two more extra lenses of 500 mm or 600 mm. So with 600, first five combinations look similar. We're gonna attach 1.4x converter, 200 to 400, 200 to 400, and both 400. And for 300 mm, we're gonna attach 2x converter, which gives us around 600 mm range. And equivalent on 7D, all these lenses becomes close to 800 mm. With 300, basically it becomes almost 960 mm. Okay, so because of new two lenses, we got two more combinations in 600 mm range. So first one is with the 500 mm lens, obviously with f4 at 500 mm. It is a bit short to 600. Uh, still, I'm taking it in 600 range. With 1.4x, we will take that combination in 800 mm range. And the second lens is 600 f4 at 600 mm. The same goes for crop sensor, which becomes almost 800 mm lens, which is 500 becomes 800 and 600 becomes 960 mm. Now let's go to the tool. Let's select all full frame cameras. So for one 100 to 400 we will attach 1.4x and minimum aperture we're gonna get is f8 then for 200 we will attach 1.4x converter the minimum aperture we're gonna get is 5.6 however for comparison purpose with 100 to 400 we will keep it as f8 With 300, we're gonna attach 2x converter and then that makes it 5.6. So you got 5.6 images. However, for comparison purpose, again, we will choose F8 here as well. For 400, we're gonna attach 1.4x and this 400 as well, 1.4x. And the aperture for both of them, we will keep it as F8. So again, as this 100 to 400 lens becomes F8 lens when you attach 1.4x, hence we are keeping all other lenses as F8 so that we can compare side by side. And to get this success, if you have missed, you can visit my previous video and I explained you. You come to this web, you come to this website, and you just register, and then you got the access to this tool of charge and you can download all the original raw images as well this is a new 100 to 400 mm lens and with 1.4x attached it really performs well i don't see any major issue if i attach 1.4x to it even the block case quite clean not that mixed up If I compare with 200, this almost this 100 to 400 is almost competing with 200 to 400. So for 200 to 400, we use inbuilt 1.4x. Even though it says here uh, 1.4x Mark III, please ignore that. We have used inbuilt. Uh, converter the sharpness is little slightly better on 200 to 400 f4 lens the sharpness is quite better actually compared with 100 to 400 but 100 to 400 is not bad bokeh is almost same now let's move to 300 f28 with 2x attached so this lens is bit stopped down as well when you attach 2x to 2.8 2.8 lens it becomes 5.6 and then when you become f8 it's almost stopped down by one stop and so see this image you might think oh little bit not that sharp that's why we got multiple images you can see sharpness here clearly 
and it's very sharp. Bokeh is pretty good. It's better than 200 to 400 mm. For 400 to 8, is yeah, it's, it's sharpness is much more improved. You can look at it here and it's just very sharp. The bokeh obviously is gonna be a better because you are uh, when 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 you attach 1.4x to 2.8, it becomes f4 lens and you are stopping down almost by another one stop. So it becomes a very very sharp lens and it becomes very sharp lens and still bokeh is good. And lastly, a 4DO for 400. Again, it is giving pretty good sharpness. A bokeh is obviously 400 F2.8 is a winner in bokeh effect. So just to give you idea, the base aperture on all these lenses, so 200 to 400 with 1.4x becomes 5.6 lens so we stopped on by one stop to make it f8 300 2.8 with 2x becomes 5.6 lens and we stopped on by one stop to make it f8 400 f4do with 1.4 becomes 5.6 we stopped on by one stop 400 2.8 with 1.4 becomes 4 f4 lens and we stop down by two stop in total to make it f8 clearly 400 2.8 is performing better because it stopped down by two stops instead of one compared with all other lenses it's still within its sweet spot range as i can compare only five lenses let's add 500 and 600 mm instead of 100 to 400 and 300 mm and let's compare so i'm gonna choose here 500 and here 600 with no extender at f8 500 with no extender at f8 so we got different bird here this bird is little bit slightly bigger you can see uh, slightly bigger in size but almost similar and let's see it's similar but the head size of uh, owl is little bit bigger than this eagle so when we compare head size i think it will be similar you can clearly see 600 is a way sharper is as much sharp as 400 or it's little bit more sharper than 400 500 is as sharp as 600 mm as well these are again these are stop uh, stopped down by one stop so the sharpness there is no issue with this both lenses the bokeh I compare the bokeh of 600 which is near bird which is a far trees with these far trees yes, still 400 is giving much more bokeh and 600 and 500 are almost same or maybe a small 1% better in 600 feel free to log in and compare yourself if you find if you want to check different combination I'm trying to cover as much as I can. However, with 1.4x attached to 400 mm, it is giving the same performance as 500 and 600. Now let's stop down to 5.6 and see how it performs. That's Martin there. I think I got one shot only. Martin so I have to use that one so even though at even though we stop down it performs very well this is 200 to 400 looks like that is a shake blur is is the sharpness is not that good So let's compare this 600 600 is pretty good very sharp four hundred is very sharp as well 
no issues with it look at this you can see hairs as well and 400 do is sharp as well so these are almost at same level if i compare 400 5.6 and 5.8 then i think 5.6 has lost maybe 3 to 5 percent sharpness and if i compare with 500 and 600 i think 600 is outperforming everyone and it's just uh, giving so much clear image see look at the legs and feathers on the legs look at the fine red is sharp as well and if i look at this 400 it has got very narrow depth of field still good but it's not sharp enough however i would say that in real world you won't find noticeable difference with 400 and 1.4x attached to it check out this photo i took this photo with 400 to 8 is one with 1.4x attached to it and it is still sharp image now let's move to f11 we saw f8 f5.6 f11 and we will compare 3 and 100 to 400 sorry we don't have image okay we'll use 500 and we want to use 300 with 2x at f11 that's one image only yeah maybe it's still okay still works but you can see more of a background so i wouldn't shoot at f11 so let's choose 600 mm with no extender at f11 make sure you choose right extender combination otherwise you might end up uh, choosing different combination that you are comparing This is 1.4 yeah it looks okay now that's the 500 with f11 it has hampered the sharpness looks like its uh, sharpness is a bit more less than f8 200 to 400 works better at f11 yeah it looks like it's working somehow better at f11 when it's top down compared with 5.6 which is wide open 600 is as sharp as it was it's giving more it's continuously performing same with the sharpness obviously bokeh is gonna change if i compare with 400 f28 the sharpness of yeah is sharpness still there the image is still sharp but you can see more of a background uh, bokeh effect obviously is gonna be a better on 400 but i could be wrong yeah looks like it's a similar on 400 and 600 it's the same bokeh effect look at that it's the same bokeh effect if i zoom in all the way and with 400 do but is still sharp and looks amazing so all lenses almost are performing pretty well uh, however it loses slightly slight sharpness at f11 now let's push it to f14 and see if you got any images there to compare Yeah, sorry not all lens we couldn't get all combinations so there are a few surprisingly 400 f28 is pretty good at f14 as well look at that the bokeh effect has degraded in quality 
so overall we covered 600 mm range for full frame so obviously for crop sensor i personally found similar observations apart from getting more closer to the subject due to increased focal length which is 1.6 times uh, feel free to check out yourself log into this website register and check out yourself it's free to check uh, in the, and you can use this tool and compare all different combinations